Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Final Trade. We're going to take our 50-day look at Phyrexia set box sales data taken off of TCG Player. And can you believe it has been 50 days since this set came out and we haven't had another set already released and we don't have a third set coming out in another week like we usually do. So a slight reprieve from the normal once every four weeks release schedule that WotC has had us on for seven, eight, nine months now. We still have a couple of weeks until March of the Machines comes out, and then after that, about three weeks until the next set. But for these set boxes of Phyrexia, in the total life up to 50 days post-release, they've sold 4,813 boxes for a total of $592,000, coming to an average of $122.91 per box. And you know, if you look at wholesale distribution prices and you back out market fees for TCG Player or eBay, and you add in the real cost to ship one of these boxes in the US, the break-even price for most small card stores is about $125, what they need to sell for on a platform like TCG Player or eBay, where the fees are around 12.5%. And so to have the average price be $122.91, well, it's holding up better than most other set boxes have in the last couple of years, but it's not quite high enough that most card stores can be making any money. So first, I want to compare it to the previous two standard sets to come out. So I'll grab Brothers War and Dominaria United set boxes to put up next to this. And you can see on the total box basis, it's sold about 1,300 more boxes than either of those sets did at the same time in their respective life cycles. And the total spend is about 50 percent higher so a much better reception on this than on the last two standard sets and something i've been saying for a long time if you go back and you watch these videos especially for the standard sets it was that when we finally get a standard set that does better than kamigawa then we can start to have some confidence that we're coming out of the bear market that attitudes are changing people are embracing the products better they're willing to spend more money and this kind of terrible 2022 period that we had with the relationship between the entire ecosystem and watsi may be healing and if we throw kamigawa up there yep this is the purple line of total spend of kamigawa up to 50 days post release and you can see that Phyrexia beats it by another $100,000, about 20% better performance out of Phyrexia than Kamigawa did a year ago. Why is it sometimes that Watsi can get things right, they can figure out how to make a popular set, control the distribution like they did with Kamigawa, keep the set box prices in a reasonable range where more card stores can actually make money selling them, and sometimes they can't. You know, you have the sets that came afterwards, Streets of New Capenna, Dominaria United, Brothers War, and all three of those, the set box prices crashed where the only way a small card store could move the box was at a pretty big loss. And now we're back around to the first standard set of the year again. Phyrexia, they managed to keep box prices at a decent amount right now. They're in the mid 120s. And if you go out and you look today, Streets of New Capenna is about 102 and Dominaria United and Brothers War are around 110. So going forward, towards our 100-day look at this in another month and a half, what we're really going to want to see is whether or not the Phyrexia set box prices come down to that approximate 110, where a lot of the standard set boxes have been settling several months after the release recently, or if it's going to hold in that 120 to 130 range that would be indicative of Watsi having some discipline on print runs and distributions and not dumping on Amazon immediately and everything else. Basically, does Amazon have the will to put off some revenue for a little bit in order to keep the entire ecosystem more healthy for the long run? That's the big question. So there it is, 50 days after release, it's outperformed Kamigawa. That's the big thing we've been looking for, a big indicator. Don't stay negative too long. If somehow you are still negative after everything you've seen these last couple months of the market turning around, of the tide starting to lift all boats, don't stay negative too long. This is just one more piece of data showing you that things are recovering. Let me know what you think, guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join me on Final Trade.